Hey, this is Sister Sharon coming to you today. I need loads and loads of prayer. I'm suffering with colitis severely. And if you don't know what it is, you can look it up on the internet. It's pain, it's severe pain, and it's rectal bleeding, cramps, and all this stuff. So anyway, God's a good God. But anyway, I was quoting the scripture. God does not give us the, power, the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. I went to bed hurting real bad, and I'm thinking, because you think, well, you know, this is going to be the last time you're going to die and all this stuff. And anyway, how God quoted it, he don't give us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So I woke up thinking about that, and all of a sudden, the scripture started popping out to me. Because you know, the Bible says in Acts 1, 8, after you receive the Holy Ghost, what's he going to give you? Power, hallelujah. And anyway, there's that song goes, there's power, power. Wonder, work, and power in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. So anyway, Acts, he told us that once we receive the Holy Ghost, power shall come upon you to be a witness unto him. So that's what I want to do with a lot of these devotions. And anyway, I went through the spirit of fear one time in my life. I had a sickness. And it's when the sickness first started coming upon me and my throat shut off. I woke up out of bed, couldn't breathe, and I went out, and I was out on the porch and all this stuff, and I could not breathe. I had most of the neighborhoods up because there was my sound coming from me. By the time I got to the hospital, I was quieter than that. I looked like a dead person, hallelujah. And it brought fear upon me till my mama come to me, hallelujah. She come to me. She said, Sharon, we're going to get you through this. As she, as she had me to write this scripture down, I shall not give you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I quoted that so many times. So anyway, yesterday I had a bad day with my with my stomach all day long. I was in bed. And anyway, I just had this got thinking, well, you know, maybe this is gonna be it and all this stuff. So and then when I went to bed, I said, God does not give me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So when I woke up, I began to see verses that come in coming to, you know, about, about this power, love, and sound mind that he gives us, hallelujah. And I'm in Acts 1, 8, he says, once the Holy Ghost come up on you, ye shall receive power, hallelujah. And then, like I said about the uh, whole armor of God that he gives to us, we could put that on, my, 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 we could fight Satan with it. So anyway, fear is definitely not of God, and but it could come up on you, but you could take these words and speak to the, speak to your situation and God will be there, Gary. God will be there for you. Hallelujah. Uh, Paul, Paul wrote this. Paul, you know, he he wanted to see Timothy prosper in his ministry because Timothy was a good person, but he was in prison and he wrote this to, to, to Timothy. And anyway, so uh, Paul knew, Paul knew where his strength came from. The spirit, of, uh, the spirit of power is given from God. Thus, God is the source of power. Hallelujah. Uh, Romans says the God, Romans 1 16 said the gospel is power to salvation. Hallelujah. Salvation grants us stability through protection, following and courage to work the works of God. Okay. And then I want to go to love real quick. Nothing would do more to your life than to inspire courage to yourself and to your fellow man, to make men fearless of the danger and ready to endure. Uh, Protect, uh, persecution, then love. The love of the, your country, the love of your wife, the love of your children, your home makes the most him of old when they are self. But the love of Christ to a dying world was the greatest love that ever was. Hallelujah. The creation of love is towards us. He sent his son to die that we may live. And the Bible talks about his word is life to us. Hallelujah. So he loved us. We love him because he first loved us. So that's where you get that's where you get your love. Your power, you got your love, and here we're well, we'll talk a little bit on sound mind. Because you know what one of my favorite verses is he J Christ says that we got to fit on the mind of Christ daily. Hallelujah. If we got the mind of Christ, we're gonna have a sound mind. Hallelujah. But if you don't turn your life to God and let him, Jesus take control of your life. I mean, Satan could come in, and the first thing he wants to do is take your mind. But through Jesus Christ, we can have a sound mind because uh, he said his, his, his word was life to us. And we must put on the mind of Christ every day. And Romans 8 and 8 says, the, 
The spirit of a sound mind knows nothing that can separate us from the love of God in Christ. The spirit of a sound mind is like Psalmist David said, Who shall I fear? Hallelujah. That is love. God saved us according to his purpose and grace in Christ revealed in the gospel. We can live without fear and have a confidence in the one who has committed us into his hands. Hallelujah. So anyway, that was a great verse. There's, I try to skip over because there's so many. There's so many on this. But I want to make a point to that. Because I've heard it so many times. For, I mean, my mama quoted it over and over. And I know several, the pastor of Kleins does. And uh, several people do. But the, it started popping out. Why, Papa? Why Paul wrote this? You know, because I'm telling you what, God does not give us a spirit of fear. Now, there's a godly fear, but that's totally different than fear out in the land, fear of a dark and this is, they're dying or whatever. So anyway, God is a good God. And remember this, there's so much in our life that God has given to us. Not only has he gave us the power, love and sound mind, he gave us the whole armor to put on. He gave us the belt of truth and all this stuff. He gave us gifts of the spirit. He gave us fruit of the spirit. He also gave us the attitudes to work with in our life. But once you go through this Bible, not even count what he has promised us in heaven. Hallelujah. That's like doing these devotions and stuff. The Bible says you've got to work and lay up your crowns and your work in, in heaven. This, this earth don't, it don't matter to us. No. You know, it's what after death where we're going to live forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. So don't you want to go there today? So live your life. Lay up treasures for heaven. Hallelujah. We're dust, we're dust and uh, moth and all that. Don't, don't rest it no more. My, 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 what a place we're going to. So anyway, you all have a day. Remember me in prayer. Please, please, please. I mean, I pray. I keep praying and stuff again. God's a healer. He is. And, you know, I was thinking about like 2015. I had that incident happen to me. I went out again. And, and uh, I think like three or four years after that, there's so many, there's three or four times I've had death around me. And I overcame it. And there's a reason for it. So, today, yesterday I did feel like it. But today, I thought, well, I'm going to do a small devotion. Because that keeps me into the grace of God and into His Word. Because His Word is His life. It's life to us. It's sanctification to us. Hallelujah. If we abide. The Bible says, you abide in me and I in you. If my words abide in, me, in you, hallelujah. You might get us what life you have. So y'all all have a blessed day. And remember today's Tuesday. And remember church day. And I pray that I get to go with stuff like that. But remember, God will God give me strength. Hallelujah. God's a healer. He's done healed me two, three times already. And then one time more I ain't going to get one more time ain't going to matter, hallelujah. But one day, I'm not going to live forever because one day he's going to come take me home, hallelujah. And I can't wait for that day. So you all have a blessed day. And remember to smile. God loves you and so do, so do we.